Today we're going to do our fall watercolor painting. What you need to remember with watercolors is every time you want to change colors, clean your paintbrush off in the water. You also um, need to know that the more water you add to your paint, the lighter the color is going to be when you put it on the paper. It's going to be more watery. I think the best place to start is to kind of take a look at your tree trunk and your branches and decide where the branches are going to be. Put your brown paint on first to kind of mark this. When I put the brown paint on, I'm not going to paint all the way to the edges of the tree trunk because I'm going to go back and kind of put some orange in to make it highlight and give the tree trunk some texture so it's not just solid brown. Now watch this jump and see how much of the tree trunk I got done. <laughs> so I'm doing that so that the video isn't too long. If you had to watch every step, this video would probably be about a half an hour long. Now I've put yellow on and I am getting ready to put some red on. And we're going to blend it in with the yellow a little bit. The red's dark, so it's covering up the yellow. We can always go back over it later with some yellow. We can let it dry a little bit. But I was expecting more of an orange color to show. So we want to put each color right next to the other so there's no white showing and this will blend the colors together the wetness from the paint onto the paper is going to have the colors blend into each other more now we're adding some orange and i really like to um, make the colors pop and i feel like when we add some green maybe because it's one of the darker colors, but I feel like it just makes the orange, reds, and yellows really um, show off more. So first I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow, and then we'll add some green. And you can also add, you can add green by itself, or you can mix yellow and green together to make a lighter color green. Now we're going to speed things up and we're going to do the sky. So I start with pink and then I'll add some blue. Have you ever seen the sky when it looks kind of pink and blue? That's the look that we're going for here. You don't have to do that. If you want to make it all blue, you can do it all blue. It's up to you. Don't feel like you have to do this exactly the same way I did. If you have other ideas, use your ideas. So with the grass, I started with the green and I'm mixing in some yellow so the grass has different shades. Next, we're gonna show you how to make the scarecrow. We gave you scarecrows of different colors and pick which one you wanna use as the body and then you're gonna pick the other colors to dress the scarecrow. Let's do the hat. There's a little dotted line you cut at the bottom of his hat and then once you do that, you glue the hat right on top of his head there, over top of the other hat. And then you decide what you want for the shirt and you pick that scarecrow and then you just cut out the shirt. I'm gonna do green. And again, there are lines that you can follow to cut out the shirt. And then you just glue the shirt on top of the scarecrow. You can do the same thing with the basket and give it different colors by doing the same method. So just remember to keep blending your colors to make your fall painting. All the colors come together and you'll have a nicely blended picture like this. And I really hope you enjoy doing this as much as I did.